Hello kids, it's Nana Party Time and tonight I am reading Everybody Loves Valentine's, Another Happy Book by Sally Huss. Mother loves Valentine's, sisters too. Even a brother loves a Valentine when it comes from you. Dads like Valentines without much fluff. Grandmothers love Valentines and whatever fluff there is, it's never enough. What else is there to say about Valentines and Valentine's Day? How about this? V is for Valentines. They are fun to make them and give them away. A is for always. Always is how long I will love you. That's what each card will say. L is for love. Love and loving, which is the nicest way to be. E is for everyone whom I love and who loves me. N is for never never forgetting that I have love in great supply. T is for trying. There are new friends to be found. I just need to try. I is for invitation. A valentine that asks, will you be mine? Is an invitation a wish? N is for numbers. The numbers of many who will answer yes. E is for everyone who would like to be mine. S is for satisfaction. When I give away a valentine, I feel good inside. I feel satisfaction. Of course, there are many ways to say I love you and many ways to say I'd like to be your friend. But a valentine is the best way to do it in the end. Then you have, please be mine, I'll be yours, mine. I love you with all my heart, be mine. You can make a valentine heart out of paper. You can make one out of cookie dough. You can make one with your fingers. It's harder with your toes. You can make one in a wax candle. You can always make one in clay as a teacup's handle. You can make one with candy as sweet as can be. Yes, you can make one as big as your own heart for everyone to see. But the important thing of all to do is to make a valentine to say, I love you. The end, but not the end of loving others. Here is an excerpt for Everything Has a Heart, another sweet Valentine book by Sally Huss. Have you noticed that everything has a heart? Those who notice are very smart. Cats have hearts, can you hear them purr? Dogs have hearts underneath their fur. Mice and rats have hearts, little tiny, tiny hearts. Just as butterflies and bats have hearts, they carry them wherever they dart. See their heart and their hearts? An apple has a heart in the CD part. And that's the end of the story. If you like the story, like it, the video, make a comment and say that you liked it. And I'm reading more, so look for more books for tonight. Have a good night. Bye.